Hi, I'm Deb with the Kamloops YMCA. I'm a yoga teacher and I'm here to guide you through a yoga stretch class today. If you'd come to a standing position, join me with your feet hip width apart. Take your weight and shuffle side to side. Picking up your toes and just allowing them to soften back down onto your mat. Tucking under slightly through the tail and let's give the shoulders a nice little roll down and back. A nice big inhalation through the nostrils. Exhalation, drawing those shoulder blades down and back. Taking our time, settling into our standing pose. Meeting here in mountain, opening our palms. And I invite you to close your eyes here for a moment, drawing an awareness to within and just notice how you feel. Notice your breath. Notice the length of the breath and the quality. We draw our hands to heart center, taking our eyes open. Let's sweep the hands down and take a nice big inhale, rising up through the heart, through the gaze. Exhale, softening down. Nice big inhale, lifting up out of the front of the body. On the exhale, letting everything else go. Taking it all in. fully present in this moment. One more time, nice big rise, reach up out of the fingertips, hinging to one side, pressing out through that opposite hip, engaging the biceps near the ears, taking the gaze up. Taking a nice deep breath here, every breath with purpose. Coming to a greater intention in our practice today. Fully present. Coming through center, hinging through the opposite side. Beautiful. Rising through center. Taking a nice big hinge, nothing locked out. Nice soft knees. Letting that head go. I invite you to give the head even a little shake, side to side, nice and gentle, perhaps forward back, loosening through that lower back, letting everything go. Nice big rise and a half fold, nice flat back. Hugging those shoulder blades a little closer towards the spine, reaching out of the crown of the head, one long line from the crown of the head to the tail, and exhale, soften down. Through soft knees, a gentle tuck of the tail, rippling the spine up, take your time. Rolling all the way up, settling those shoulders down and back. Beautiful, bringing the hands to shoulders. Let's take some nice rounding forward through the elbows, rising out of the heart. Rolling in, rising lift out of the heart couple more times. Really finding that connection through your breath. Beautiful. Reaching those hands back, wiggling through the fingers, and then taking them back, diving forward. Really practicing that release through the lower back, engaging that navel to spine, rising up. Nice big lift, diving forward, nice soft knees. Take your time here. Nice big inhale. Dive forward. One more time. Beautiful, this time, swan dive forward, hinge forward fold. Option here, 
to clasp the opposite elbows. Just let that head, let that back hang down. As we release the hands, halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, soften down. Good. This time, charge those fingertips. Reverse swan dive, rising all the way up. Taking the hands to reverse prayer, lifting up out of the heart. Take a moment here. Good. As we take the heart to sky, rise those fingertips all the way up and slowly soften them back down. Taking a nice little twist, reset through the spine, taking one long energy channel from the tail all the way to the crown of the head. Good. I invite you to take a shoulder check across with the gaze. So loosening up the spine. As we come back through center, let's take the hands to the hips, adding a nice gentle roll one direction. And when you're ready, switch direction. Beautiful. Coming back to center, walking the hands down, just lengthening down one hand and the other, moving our spine in all directions. Beautiful. Coming back through center, taking the palms away into a nice C shape through the spine. Draw that navel to spine, creating a nice C. Good, when you're ready, taking the fingertips up, a nice counter pose into a back bend, pressing those hips forward, lifting up out of the heart, out of the fingertips, and then hinge forward fold. When you're ready, halfway lift on your inhale. And exhale, soften down through the palms. Let's walk back through downward dog. And begin to just walk the dog back and forth. Finding a softness through the pads of the fingers. Taking any pressure off the wrists, off the shoulders, slowly sinking back through the heels. Take a nice big inhale here. Filling up even through the back of the body and exhale, soften those heels a little closer to the mat. Just notice how you feel. Slowly softening those knees down, coming to a table position. Good, stacking those palms right in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. We can glue down through the top of the feet, tuck under through the tail, rolling up into a cat back, chin to chest. Nice big inhale, send that gaze forward off the top of the mat, tilt that tail back behind, release those shoulders from ears. Working with your breath, exhale up, take your time. And charge that heart forward on the inhale. Every breath here with purpose. Finding a nice connection from your breath to the movements. Couple more rounds. Good, one more full cycle. Beautiful, with the toes curled under, rising back through our downward dog. Good, just working out any kinks, walking the dog one more time, shifting the hips from side to side.
Beautiful, when you're ready, charging one foot back, three-legged dog, taking the gaze to the top of the mat, and we're gonna walk that foot through. Shifting through the hips, nice long length through that trailing leg. And just notice how it feels to be able to drop the hips a little bit and slowly take that knee to mat. Taking your time, rising up, hands to that forward knee. Option to bring the hands to hearts or rising overhead. Taking a nice big inhale, opening the heart, little back bend into our low crescent lunge. Soften those shoulders down and back. Just embracing the movement, fully present. Option to bring the palms together in prayer, taking that opposite elbow across, creating a bind. Taking the gaze over that shoulder. Beautiful, nice big inhale, charge those hands forward, rising out of that trailing leg, settling the hands down to the mat, framing the inside of the front foot. We're gonna walk that foot slowly around into a high plank. Nice flat back, a slight tuck under through the tail to protect the lower back, hug those elbows into the side body, slowly soften down, gluing down through the top of the feet, Hugging those shoulder blades down and back. On the next inhale, rising into low cobra. Slowly softening. Taking one more rise. Softening, settling the heart towards the mat, towards the earth. Widening the knees just slightly as we press back, taking the knees as much as you need to sink back to child's pose. Finding a greater expansion of breath through the back of the body. On the exhale, sinking down the front of the body, a little closer to the mat, sinking through the hips, through the heart, through the forehead. On the next inhale, rising up out of the tail, curling the toes under, rising through our downward dog. Beautiful, walking the hands and feet towards the center of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, Exhale, soften back down. Reverse swan dive, rising all the way up. Taking all that energy towards the lights. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, same sequence, other side. Coming to the opposite side of your mat, nice big inhale. Hinging, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhales, we soften down through the hands, walking the feet back, downward dog. Go ahead, find that same movement as we walk the dog back and forth. And adding any shift through the hips that you find comfortable. Remembering this is your practice, you're working at your pace. Charging that leg back, three-legged dog. When you're ready, guiding that foot forward into a nice low lunge. Good, give a little gentle hip bounce and then slowly soften down through that back knee. If you need to add any padding to that back knee, make sure you're listening to your body. Gently walking the hands up to the knee. You may just be right here today. You may find an offering hands to heart. And this is where you stay. Wherever you are, that's right where you are supposed to be. 
Option to rise, fingertips to sky, softening shoulders down and back, creating a nice crescent lunge position. Breathe here. Drawing the palms together, finding the opposite elbow across, adding that twist. Notice how every breath feels in the body through every movement. Beautiful. As we unravel the hands towards the mat, lengthening out of that back leg, we can walk the hands to the inside, taking that back leg, giving it a nice scooch around, coming back to table. Through our cat and cow here, we're gonna add a little bit of a roll. So a nice rolling cat and cow, drawing up, finding a nice extension through the spine and then drawing that tail back to the seat. Nice big inhale. Good, a nice recharge through the breath, drawing that heart forward over the fingertips, taking your time. One more full breath. Beautiful, hinging back, opening the knees as much as you need. Hinge back to child's pose. This time, option to tent the fingertips in child's pose, adding a little deeper stretch through the shoulders. Option to drop through the forearms, bringing the hands to prayer and to reverse prayer. Beautiful, through every exhale, settling the front of the body a little closer to the mat. Allowing ourselves to come fully present in this moment as we rise up through table, making our way with toes curled under, back to our downward dog. Taking a nice big breath, extension through the back of the body. Walking the hands towards the feet, forward folds. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, sinking back down, walking the hands over to one side, through center, over to the other. Through center, good, with soft knees rolling up. Take your time. all the way back up good shake it out just let it go notice how you feel beautiful let's draw the hands to hearts take a moment here allow us to come wide on our mats Good, coming to a warrior two. We're gonna turn toes to the short end of the mat, beginning to soften through the hips. Good, when you're ready, settling through that hip, rolling those shoulders down and back, charging fingertips wall to wall, taking a nice soft gaze over the fingertips. Working with our breath through the movement on the inhale, 
We're gonna rise through that leg, softening, reaching fingertips overhead, fingertip to fingertip. On the exhale, soften to our warrior two. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, softening a little deeper. One more time. Taking that soft gaze, letting go of all thoughts. Good. Taking that back hand, skimming down the back leg, exalted warrior, rising out of the heart, out of the fingertips. Finding some nice length extension through our side angle. Option to bring the palm or the elbow, taking that back hip, back shoulder open, reach up out of the side body. Take a nice breath here. So we begin to straighten through that leg. We're gonna take that top arm down towards the foot. Revolve triangle, take the gaze behind, reach up out of those fingertips. Finding a nice twist and length through the trunk of the body here. Don't forget to breathe. Slowly soften that hand down walking those hands forward, turning that toe forward, wide-legged fold, sinking down through the forehead. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften back down. Good, generous bend in the knees. Rolling, rising all the way up, turning those toes out, five-pointed star, rise up out of the heart. Take a few breaths here. Soften the hands down towards the plie, and then rise up out of the fingertips on the inhale. Exhale, softening through the hips. Nice big inhale, we rise. Beautiful, taking the hands down the side body. Same sequence, other side, turning that toe out towards warrior two, opening the hips. We're gonna sink down through the hips. So find that nice movement, that strong tracking front leg, creating a nice, balance between the big toe, the little toe, and the heel. So even that back pinky toe has a little bit of the weight. Good, when you're ready, soften those shoulders, taking fingertips wall to wall. Soft gaze over the fingertips, letting all those thoughts just wash away. On the next inhale, soften that leg, nice and strong, rise up out of the fingertips. Exhale, sink down. Nice big rise. Sinking down. One more time, pause at the top of that inhale. Taking in even a little bit more than you thought possible. Exhale. Warrior two. Good, skimming that back hand down, exalted warrior rising out of the heart. We lead from the heart here through exalted warrior. We let that head take a back seat. Good, softening down through the palm, extended side angle, or taking that elbow down, opening that hip and shoulder sinking down option to take that gaze up towards the lights
One more full breath here. Good, every breath with purpose through the movement as we slide that top arm down, shifting through a straight leg, taking that back hand down, revolve triangle. As we lift up out of the fingertips, we're not dumping it all into that bottom shoulder. As we slowly soften that leg, walking the hands through our wide-legged fold. Option to drop down through the forehead, clasping the hands behind the back, and just let them go, opening the shoulders. Slowly softening down. Halfway lift on the inhale. Take it all in. Exhale, we're gonna heel toe the feet. A little closer together, sinking down through the hips into a low squat. You may be up here today, and that's totally fine. We're still lifting out of the crown of the head, out of the heart. If you're looking to sink a little deeper, Good, shifting your weight. Option to even use the elbows to open through the knees. Take a few breaths here. Good, bringing the hands forward. Almost like you're gonna frog hop. And we're just gonna shift the weight over to one side. We're gonna take the legs out in front. Good, walking the hands out by the sides, shifting the weight through the seats so we can have a gentler root down through the tail, coming up nice and tall. Nice big rise out of the fingertips. Hinge, forward fold. Good, option to use those tented fingertips is traction to find a little bit more length, reaching that crown of the head towards the toes. Slowly rolling back up, taking your time. Good, settle those shoulders. Down and back, taking the hands back behind you, walking the feet out to the long edges of the mat and just windshield wiper the legs side to side. We worked the hips a lot today, giving them a little bit of love right here. Good, as we draw back through center, we're gonna scoop behind the legs, rolling those shoulders back. So a strong trunk of the body here, nothing collapsing through the trunk as we rise up out of the toes. Core engaged. Good, letting any thoughts that creep in just float away. Slowly softening down, beautiful. We're gonna take one leg long, hinging that opposite leg in. We're gonna wrap it around, tented fingertips lifting up out of the spine. We're gonna take our spine like a dishcloth, wringing it out, adding that shoulder check last. Breathing through the twist. Beautiful, letting all that new energy through the spine soak in, knowing you are right where you are supposed to be. Adding a counter twist, take those hands across. And as we come through center, just shake those legs out. Opposite leg, 
hinges, knee towards the chest, nice and tall, wrapping that hand around through tented fingertips, lengthening the spine. Finding your breath through the twist. As we unravel that opposite side, a nice counter twist. And coming back through center, let's just shake out our legs. Good, we're going to roll over onto one side, making our way onto our back. So take your time here, slowly making your way onto your back. Settling that back of the body onto the mat. Notice what that looks like for you. So settling those shoulders down. Good. Settling through the back of the head. Taking those knees to chest. Give a nice big hug. We're just going to slow everything down right here. Reaching the palms down by the sides of the mat. We're just going to walk it out. Bicycle the legs. Good. Taking both knees, calves parallel with the floor. We're going to slowly draw the legs over to one side, still softening evenly through those shoulder blades. Good. Using your core muscles here, coming back through center, shift the weight just slowly over to the other side. Nice and controlled. So we're not rocking at all. We're actually really rooting down, adding that slow shift. Dropping on one side. Coming back through center to the other side. And as we come back through center, let's rise the feet to sky. This is really nice. Slowing the body down. This helps lower our blood pressure. So we take a few breaths here. Good. We can point and flex through the toes. Good, as we widen just slightly, we can take a wrist roll and an ankle roll one direction and the other. Really settling down onto our mats. Beautiful. We're gonna walk those feet in towards the seat rising into a low bridge. We're gonna do this twice. So take your time on the first one, just lifting up through the tail, rolling up through the spine, like you have a little ball that's keeping your chin from tucking down to the chest so you can still have a nice full breath, lifting up out of the heart, out of the hips. Take a nice big belly breath, rise that belly up. And on the exhale, slowly soften one vertebrae at a time, touching down through the tail. Good, notice how that felt. We're just gonna draw those feet together, open the hips, widening the knees, our lying butterfly. Take a moment here. Option to even bring the hands on the belly, feel the rise and fall of the breath. One more big inhale. Slowly exhalation here. Good. Coming back to that low bridge. Walking those heels back towards the seat. Softening down through the pads of the fingers. Rolling up. This time with the option to even roll under through the shoulders. Lifting up a little bit higher. 
Good. Feeling a relaxation. Wash over the eyes, over the jawline. Finding a flow through your breath. Let's let everything else go. One more full breath here. Unraveling the shoulders if they're tucked under and slowly softening down. Good. When that tail touches down, let's walk the feet out to the long edges, just allowing the knees to collapse in. Slowing our body even further, preparing for our Shavasana. Our Shavasana can look like whatever is comfortable for you. We take a few moments of stillness together. We allow all the benefits from all of the movement and the breath to just soak in right here. It can be on your back, your side, your belly, or seated. Whatever works for you. I invite you to close your eyes here. Good. Notice if you're hanging on to any tension. Are there any corners of your body that just need to let go? Allowing the entire body to melt towards the mat. When you're ready, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Begin to slowly awaken through the eyes. When you're ready, we'll make our way onto one side. Taking your time here. you're ready pressing yourself slowly up to a comfortable seat of your choice you can look however you like that is the beauty of our joint practice together is it looks different for everybody that's what makes us so unique and so beautiful Take it all in, a nice cleansing breath. And on that deep exhalation, anything left over, just let it go. Walking the hands out to the sides of the body, softening down one hand, take a nice big inhale. Up and over, fill that side body. One more time. And slowly soften. Other side, reaching up and over. Slowly softening. Allow us to bring both hands to heart. As we close our practice today, drawing the hands to the forehead, may we leave with greater clarity of thoughts to carry us through our week until we meet again. Through the lips, clarity of speech, may you go out and say something kind into the world and to the heart. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.